free in my life as I am now. And listen, you ought to get on the train. You ought to get on the train the difference. Just listen to that Acts 17 and 28 text. It says, for your own poets have said, for we also, for we are also his offspring. So I want to make sure that even though you're different, it doesn't mean you're outside or an outcast of the culture of the kingdom. Did you hear that? Even though you're different, now I need y'all, everybody to know this, that you can move different and you can be different, but don't be so different that you get off course, that, that, that you get off, you know what I'm saying, but th that you get away from the kingdom culture. So that's what I want to get into today. Look at Matthew 17, and Matthew 17, this will be our, our main text that I'm going to draw my points from today. Matthew 17 and 28 says this, at the foot of the mountain, a large crowd was waiting for them. A man came and knelt before Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy on my son. He has seizures and suffers terribly. But, but, but let's pause there. He has seizures. What's up, y'all? I am still enjoying my vacation. And today I am going shopping. I'm going shopping today. Um, today is my shopping day. And most girls like shopping for clothes which I probably won't do today um some girls you know like to buy purses which I just need a new purse but <laughs> for the most part the main thing I'm doing is I'm going grocery shopping today I have I saw this recipe that I wanted to modify and try myself so I'm uh, so I'm shopping for that and I'm going to two of my favorite grocery stores that I haven't had the opportunity to go to in quite some time. So I'm gonna go there and get some of my favorite items and explore and see what else they have. And so yeah, today is shopping day on my uh, vacation trip. Okay, I'm recording commentary instead of trying to use music on YouTube because that is very challenging. <laughs> um, and I am here looking through items that you buy in bulk. They have everything from like wheat and flour to like candy and um, oh, this is yellow grits and white grits as well. I've never seen yellow grits. I didn't buy them, but now I kind of want to go back and try them. Um, but yeah, they have nuts, unsalted and salted, ro roasted and not roasted, all kinds of bean varieties, dried beans, of course. Um, and I'm going to show you some of the things that I bought, which of course, you know me, I mostly got candy <laughs> um, from this particular section anyway. There, that was dried marshmallows you saw, or the malted marshmallows um, and more candy. Um, I got these lemon almonds and these mint malted chocolate balls. They were so good. And this soup, I use it for all kinds of different things. So I definitely got some of that and some sugared uh, ginger here. Um, I think it was honeycomb. Honeycomb is actually basically pretty much a candy. Now I am at the International Food, uh, International Farmers Market, um, which they have food from all over the world. And I'm in their produce section, which I spend so much time in there. I spend so much time in the store whenever I go that I, I can never record it all. And by the time I get maybe halfway through the store, I'm so immersed in all of the things I'm looking at is I never get enough footage. But if you watch my vlogs, you have been to the store with me before and you will probably go back again. So don't even worry about that. Maybe I'll start on the opposite side next time instead of starting here, in which I always go to the produce first. It's one of my favorite sections to try all the different fruits and veggies that they have. Um, all kinds of things. And... They also have bowls and pots and pans and all kinds of stuff to help you prepare your meals authentically. Um, and you see a lot of people from, you know, with accents and that speak different languages in the store because 
there's not very many places in America where you can go and get your actual stuff. So it's really cool um, seeing the different kind of people that come in here. And they look like you and me, but they sound very different. Um, here's a lot of bowls in, I want to say, the Chinese section. Some type of Asian, I'm sorry. And I usually look in here because they usually have something with ladybugs on it. Y'all know I love ladybugs, and they have lots of cute things. Uh, some of those the up top are plastic, and then the rest are, are like actual china. Really nice uh, quality things, very pretty things, and cute little tea sets, and um, like sushi plates. Here's a bunch of chopsticks. Drop my pineapple. Um... So yeah, th these are a lot, a lot of chopsticks. I don't personally know how to use chopsticks, um, but I do find them very fascinating. And I didn't know there were so many different styles to choose from. So that was really fun to look at. And they actually have a little kitty one that was really cute that came with like a fork and a spoon and the little chopsticks. And then they have like some that are stuck together, maybe for like older kids that are longer. I'm not sure what that tool is. I just thought it looked neat. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me. Um, all kinds of little strainers here. All kinds of pots and pans and so sushi rollers and all kinds of things. And th these are the uh, kitty chopsticks that I thought were really cute. And especially that little pink one up there. It's so adorable. Yeah. So maybe one day I'll learn how to use chopsticks. I don't know. Maybe I need to get the kitty ones. <laughs> maybe maybe that would help me. Oh, shoot. And I'm headed back out into the produce again. After I look at these bowls right quick. Yeah, and I bought some of these things. And I thought they were going to be much sweeter than they were. Because it's called like uh, Juju Honey or something like that. But it's not very sweet at all. Not, I'm still not sure what it is. Kind of like an apple in texture. Um, got some cactus leaves. I don't know how to cook cactus leaves. So I didn't buy any of those. I think those are all different kinds of beets. And probably even turnips. Root vegetables there. Yes, yeah, so I'm over here looking, and there's this dude standing and waiting, and I didn't even know because I was so into the things I was looking at. And then when I looked up, he was just kind of like, move. <laughs> he didn't say it out loud, but his eyes were let me know that he was in a hurry to grab his things so he could keep pushing. And mushrooms, I forgot to get mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They had all different kinds of mushrooms there, but I forgot to grab some that day. And this the biggest Brussels sprout I've ever seen in my life. There he is. <laughs> He's moved on to another section. And now I'm looking at some more snacks and stuff. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, chips and stuff. A lot of those are like American chips, but in flavors that are popular in other countries, I would assume. Because I, I, they don't have them here. Like they had like chicken, rotisserie chicken flavored Lay's potato chips. Looked at that and decided not to get it. It was a little, a little different for me. <laughs> Whatever that is. <sighs> shopping, shopping, shopping. This would be much better with music, but you know how that is. I grabbed a couple of those. They actually got some chips called roller coasters or shaped like a circle. I thought those are really fun and they just taste like potato chips just in a different shape. Um, they, they were made in the Philippines, the roller coasters were. Yep, just looking. Ginger candy, yes, grab like three of those because I love ginger chews. Just ginger, I don't need the lemon and the passion fruit, just give me some ginger. I guess those things are healthy, but I just love the flavor of ginger. I'm always buying ginger things when I'm when I'm there, especially. Um, these are like little cookies that are filled with something. They're really cute, but I wasn't sure about them, so I put them back. And then you're gonna see Pocky, which I actually tried many many, many years ago. Um, my brother, when he was in the Navy, sent us some back from I think Japan, 
and they only had like two flavors at the time and now they have so many different kinds of Pocky all of these hot sauces y'all look at all of these hot sauces and salsas it's crazy and then you have you know some other uh, condiments and you know stuff like that but there's so many hot sauces and then we have like all kinds of dried beans I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the mexican aisle not to be racist but um and there was so many things that I wanted to try, but I could not get everything. Um, not sure what that was, but there's lots of pickled things. And I think these are soups and beans here. <clears throat> I really like this store because it's so devoted to so many different countries. More hot sauces and uh, seasonings here and then they had like this little section that was like American food <laughs> tiny tiny you know there, there was like soda in, in that uh, little section I think this is definitely not a business call I don't remember exactly what she said but she was having a little quality time to herself that's all right I understand get you some self-care in at the job that job don't love you honey ham seasoning no thank you <laughs> who made what what is that for what ketchup seasoning absolutely not y'all know i don't like ketchup but i did go with this uh, more onion garlic forward seasoned salt type situation that you can it's like a multi-purpose thing i didn't buy this but i was curious about it um and they had like where you can buy MSG cilantro, dried cilantro, I don't think I've ever seen. And I got this because I'm childish. I haven't ever had any of that yet, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> but yeah, they had where you can buy MSG. I'm like, what are you doing? And then like most everything you see here in this little front section is candy. And then there's like cookies and cakes, but mostly candy. Um, probably a couple of different kinds of chips here, but lots and lots of candy. So obviously I was very stressed out trying to figure out which candy I was gonna buy from this amazing international candy section. <laughs> and then you're gonna see me kind of breeze through um, the frozen food section because I was running out of time. I had been in the store probably a couple of hours at this point. <laughs> not even joking um and i've never tried like any ice cream or anything from there because usually when i'm there i'm getting ready to head out for a long ride home and obviously you can't bring ice cream on a long ride home it just doesn't work um but yeah they had like you know plain old frozen vegetables in their frozen food section and then they also had like the little dumplings from uh kung fu panda bean buns and all that kind of stuff as well it was really um interesting combination of things um and i'm just flying through here if you want to see something again you got to pause it slow mo it i don't know because there's so much stuff in this store to, to see you really should just go because there's an innumerable amount amount of things and more than i can describe and here you have all kinds of milks and creamers i have never seen this many milks and creamers in one place in my life so yeah make sure you like comment subscribe share and don't forget to try something new like this pink oh wow it is actually pink this pineapple It is so sweet. <laughs> Sorry about all the smacking. Peace, y'all. <laughs>